Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro accused the U.S. of attempting to overthrow his government during his TV show Tuesday. Maduro claims Vice President Joe Biden is behind a plan to destabilize Venezuela's government. Part of the reason Maduro says this is because Biden hosted the Caribbean Energy Summit last week. The meeting brought together Caribbean leaders to discuss ways to become more energy independent, and those Caribbean nations are currently dependent on Venezuela. Jen Psaki, spokesperson for the U.S. State Department, called Maduro's claims ludicrous. Wouldn't the way that the Venezuelan economy works or doesn't work mean that if the United States is successful in getting Caribbean countries to diversify their energy supply, that Venezuela uh, would hurt? It would hurt Venezuela. Well, I think my point is that Venezuela needs to take a look at their own governing instead of throwing accusations at the vice president of the United States. Venezuela has been subsidizing oil for Caribbean countries since 2005. More energy independence for Caribbean countries would mean less dependence on Venezuelan oil. Falling gas prices are pushing Venezuela toward an economic crisis. As crude oil prices have dropped, the socialist government hasn't had the cash to provide basic import goods like groceries and medicine. On Monday, the U.S. announced new sanctions against Venezuela in the form of visa restrictions against Venezuelan officials, who the U.S. says suppressed anti-government protests. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.